Okay, so I'm recording the meeting. So yeah, this is all, you know, I'm, we're so used to doing things in a certain way that now it's, it's a bit different. But, and where will the recordings go? We where, have where? the, they, so the town of Amherst has um, a YouTube site for all of the Amherst meetings. So we direct people to go to YouTube and to look for the Amherst site, but I will receive a link to the recordings and I'll just send them out to everybody. I'll just send you a link to the recording. Great, thank you. And, and put it on the YouTube site too? I don't do that. That has to be IT. I can't, I, I don't have the administrative authority to do that. So you just send it to IT? It automatically goes, they, they automatically get it. Okay. So, um, but they don't, they're not always necessarily up to date. So I, I, I have the recordings of all our meetings. So if anyone is ever looking for a specific meeting and you can't find it on YouTube, um, then just reach out to me and I'll get it to you. But I think as a matter of course, I'm going to send these to this group. Because again, we're not just a town of Amherst committee. So I'll just make sure that everybody has a link to the recordings after the meeting. Okay. I'm sorry, let me get the agenda up here. Okay, so we're official. We have a minute taker. Um, one of the other things that we should discuss is um, the frequency of our meetings. We've been meeting every few weeks, um, but do we want to set a regular date and time? The, the requirement is that I post 48 hours in advance of a meeting. We don't necessarily have to have a specific day of the week or time of the week, but as long as I have 48 hours to post our meetings, we're good. But if we want to set something, which will make it easier for all of us, probably. Um, and again, I don't have Northampton here, so I'm a little bit reluctant. Um, I'd be comfortable setting the next meeting, but maybe we wait on that decision till the next meeting. because I think Northampton needs to weigh in. Sure. Okay, so um, for right now, at least, let's just say, where are we? Today's the third. Uh, um, so if we were to go two weeks from today, our next meeting would be on the 17th. Unfortunately, I have a conflict that day unless we, <clears throat> we could do a different, um, day of that week, or we could go to the following week, the 24th. <clears throat> Originally, we were meeting on Mondays um, at 9 a.m., which was hard for some, actually 8 a.m., even earlier originally. So we could go to Mondays, um, Monday, maybe the Monday, the 13th. At what time? We could say 10 and hope that Northampton can make that meeting. OK. Tom, is that good for you? It is. Mondays are no longer good for me, but obviously it's Chris, you, and Tom that matter. OK, well. well right, that's, uh, Monday the 13th? Yes, at 10 a.m. Okay. So we'll say that tentatively for, you know, we'll say that for now, but that doesn't mean that'll be the regular meeting date. I think once Chris comes, we can have more of a discussion about what will work best. Um, okay, so um, as far as our CCA next steps, I guess that was gonna be where I was gonna give you an update on um, engaging Paul Gromer. So, I sent Paul an email this morning as well to let him know that we have the draft contract before legal counsel and that we would be hoping to get it to him as soon as possible. I know he's he's raring to go. He's you know ready to work with us. So um, so once you know once we get that contract in place, then we'll also have to be 
working on formalizing the JPE. So even though we are celebrating the MOU, um, we really want to get moving on the JPE and making that official as well. Where does that stand? Um, I think it's both the, I sent the contract back to legal counsel again and said, now that we have the MOU signed, we need to get the JPE in order. And if you recall, we had had a few outstanding issues, which we addressed and sent to legal counsel. And I haven't heard back from them about that document. So I have a meeting with Rick later today, and I'm just going to make a note to myself actually right now to ask him about that while I have him as a captive audience. Do we know where it stands in the uh, Northampton hierarchy? Uh, no, because um, it was both, if you recall, it was both Alan Seawald and Rick Holland were reviewing it together. And they both had to uh, comment. And I don't think, I don't recall if I heard back once we, they both had similar comments and we addressed them and sent it back out to them. And that's where I haven't heard anything since. So I haven't gotten anything from Alan either. So once I hear back from Rick, I can make sure that Northampton gets it before Alan Seawald to ensure he doesn't have any final edits. Okay, thanks. Okay. So um, let's see. So we were going to review the founders document um, today, I think. So um, let's see. Darcy, I know, I think you were going to do some edits to it the last time we met. Yeah, I did, I did them. Okay. Do you um, want to, do you have I, the link? I ooh, uh, let's see. If not, I can probably pull it up. Just not to bear with me a minute. It's it's on the, in the notes, so. Okay, hold on, I'll. Uh, I'll have it up in a second. Okay. I just wanna make sure I have the right one. Um, Intent to founders, doc 10321, draft two, is that the right one? Mm, yeah, I think so. Um, Yeah, I just resolved some of the comments and well, I'll explain it to you when we see it. Okay, just give me a minute to get it up here and share my screen. Okay, can everybody see that now? Yeah, so um, my comments were in the comments until I resolved them. <laughs> But we, we did look at them last week and I was given permission to resolve things. So um, the main thing was just language that we had used that was referring to articles three and four by their previous names. We had changed them to methods and key elements on the suggestion of Aaron O'Toole, but then they got changed back <laughs> in the process of editing. So I just changed it to um, include purpose, goals, and policies. That is, that's the title of Article 3, and services, activities, and undertakings. That's the title of Article 4. So I just switched that. And then below where it says founders intent key elements, um, I did go through all of them because I, I was, I didn't want us to be redundant of what actually did make it into the JPE, um, because I thought there might be some there, but as I went through, uh, almost everything that's listed here is not in the JPE or is in much more general language. Um, and thirdly, I, there were two sections. Um, one that was basically Article 3 and one Article 4, and I just combined them. So 
under key elements just to make it simpler to understand. Um, so the, the last section, if you scroll down, Stephanie, um, to uh, numbers five, six, and seven, we're <clears throat> under a separate category and I just included them under key elements. Um, so, because there's no reason, there was not any particular reason to have two sections. So it was all just, um, you know, nuts and bolts, um, nothing substantive. Um, I would, as I look at number five, um, I know that we've, we've gone through this document before because that language got into it, um, the highlighted language through our last run through of this document. Um, in looking at it again, it really feels like we should say something stronger than we'll consider, um, like we'll strongly consider or we'll make all efforts to include. Um, since that sort of is the one of the core differences in our model um, to everything else that's at least being done in Massachusetts. Um, so that's my that's my main substantive comment. Um, and we haven't gone through all of this yet, the key elements. So I'm just noting that one comment. And certainly our intention was to have an adder for a staff person, right? Yeah. I mean, that was kind of a given all along and that's something that's certainly allowable. I think that so. initially I had put in, will have an operational adder. And so and our past go through, uh, since, since we weren't in any way sure that DPU would allow us to do that, we just changed it to consider, but you know, I'm further looking at it. It just seems a little weak um, because any anything could be considered considering, right? <laughs> so that's why I think it needs to be strengthened. The language. Why can't it so, just say the JPAE aggregation plan will recommend including yeah. an operational ladder? Yeah, that would that would be recommend good. Recommend says that's what we're going to do. Uh, We'd like and, to do. And the same with the second will consider because it just means that we will, you know, we will go to DPU and try to get this at some point. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to? So, Does that make so, sense, Andrew? Yeah. What were you going to say? Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> I just wanted to like take a step back. Um, given that this is our first official meeting, to um, say that this document comments on a joint powers agreement, which we've drafted, but which is not official. Um, and certainly um, may, um, <coughs> excuse me, may yet change. Um, so just this is like a meta document on um, a document that is is still in process so um do you want to change oh you can't change it or can you change it um, i think i can Good. I'll, we can take care of that highlighting later. Cool. Okay. Um, so I don't know if we want to go through the whole thing or because um, we didn't we didn't actually we, I think we just got through the first paragraph the last time um, we got down to key elements, I believe. Um, okay, let's see. So, um, so we stopped here. 
And Chris was one of the main commenters, so I, I would hope that we wouldn't have to do it all over again with Chris and Wayne not here, because this, this is a pretty important document to be talking about without Northampton. Yeah, I know, and that's what I, what I'm thinking as well. I mean, we could. I mean, what we could do is just go through it, and if there's any, you know, make note of edits or suggestions, and then sure have Chris take a look on his own, and just he'd have to bring them to the next meeting. So what we can't. Oh, that's another thing. Be careful what you wish for, right? <laughs> it's really wonderful that we're official now, but let me just say this is a challenge because I'm realizing now that we can't even, we're not supposed to be working with Google Docs anymore. Like I can't, at least the way Amherst operates, we can't use the Google Doc to go in and be editing and doing this kind of thing. So I think at least again for this meeting, because this is our first one, we then have to make this um, we can't work in Google Docs any longer. At least I know I can't. And I'm, I think we can do it during a meeting though, right? And we then, can, I think we can do it during the uh, meeting, but we can't like, Chris can't go in and start working with this. I mean, he could have a copy to review and get comments back to you as the person who's working on the document. But like, I can't, because otherwise we could be conceived as deliberating. On, on this document. Does that make sense to everybody and why this is problematic? So anyway, let's just let's just go through it now. If we will, and then send a copy out to Chris and make sure that if he has additional comments, we just can't see what his comments will be until like the next meeting or he can give you his feedback directly to you. Okay. Okay, so do you want to do you want to go over this now, or I mean, we have twenty well, minutes left. Do we want to just read this section one um, to ourselves and see if anybody has any issues with it? That works for me, Tom. I'm good with it. I like I like it. That plan. I mean. Okay. All right, then why don't we just sort of take a moment to read through and when people are ready, just let me know you're ready for me to scroll. I don't wanna to go too quickly. It's a minor thing in paragraph C. Does locally need to be? Oh, yeah. That is because it's in the uh, definitions. It, oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. It, All right. It, but okay. this, is a, this is not an, the official JPA document, so. Oh, yeah. So can, whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the but question about whether unbundled is defined somewhere again this is just a an aid to the board of the jpe and doesn't have to follow all the same rules i'm gonna make that a lowercase l because that's gonna bug me <laughs> I like it. Okay. People good with me scrolling down? Yes. Yes. Okay.
I'm just going to mute myself. This is kind of um, repetitive. Am I missing something? Which is um, repetitive? Um, well, promoting local uh, is there again? Andrew, just how I read that is that it's just talking about the portfolio broadly, and then it's it's more defining what these things are mm. or how it will achieve these things. Okay, the and how's that different? And how's that different from number one? Uh -oh. I'm I'm scrolling up. Sorry, people. Oh, this number um, number two is energy efficiency. Hmm. So number one is supply. Right. Mm -hmm. Two is energy efficiency and conservation. Uh -huh. Okay. Three is jobs. Mm -hmm. I, have to, I have to mute this. Thank Ithaca. <laughs> and four is climate justice-ish. And five, six, and seven are 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 what were methods, you know, the practical means of doing these things. Yeah, it's a summary of a lot of years of work. And yeah, these are just the actual articles or there some <laughs> some slightly former version of these articles right. uh, in the last six months or so. So they're pro they're probably slightly changed by now. We should probably delete them and just yeah, yeah reference the document the JPA. Yeah. It was helpful to go through them to see if, if they were. Mm. But it, it um, they, like I said, I, did, I didn't find them to be. Great. Thank you. I think that's satisfying. Stephanie, are you still with us? 
Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm talking to you and I'm realizing I'm muted. Oh, <laughs> I've actually been talking for a little bit now. Uh, what I was saying was um, I'm, I'm putting the founders document um, on the next agenda. I don't think we should have any kind of official vote just because Northampton's not present to accept the founders document as now written, but um, I'll put that on the next agenda. So, all right, hold on, just bear with me. This is gonna take some getting used to um, being official. It was nice to be unofficial for so long. <laughs> Um, but now is when the action starts. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We can officially start reducing greenhouse gas emissions. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. So let me just see what else we have. So I don't think we have any public for public comment, and we lost Catherine. <laughs> so. Um, Dwayne, thank you for sticking with us because this is um, we're we're fumbling through a little bit just because this is a new way of having to uh, work with one another now that we're official. Well, I know and that realize... from EPAC. <laughs> but, yes, uh, yes. And just let me let me just say I, I I've been you know and speaking for River and I the you know we're we're um, been following the great work that um, the CCA has been doing and I thought I'd just check in uh, on this milestone uh, to see um, see what uh, what's new and what what sort of the next steps are so um, I we don't we're to, for the clean energy extension we've been sort of technical advisors uh, in in the past and not so much as as uh, things have really been getting much more administrative and and, and action oriented um, so we don't we river and I don't plan to join all the meetings at all uh, but we're available. Um, if you need us uh, to do any analysis or, or technical support services. Um, and so um, just thought I'd check in uh, today, uh, but um, uh, I'd, I'd like to stay on the email list, but uh, whether we're panelists or um, public, uh, I'd leave that up to, to the three towns um, to, to decide going forward um, and how you want to, how you want to treat us. But just thought I'd check in with the group and say hi again. Yeah, we can keep you on as panelists. I don't think there's any harm in that for now. That way we know for sure, um, you know, you get the the meeting notices and also yeah. you can come into the meeting and have a role to discuss more easily. But also, I think when we engage Paul Gromer, I know you had said you were interested at one point that once Paul is on board, um, there's likely to be a meeting with Paul. Yeah. Where okay. we invite mm -hmm. Paul to, to meet with us all. Once okay. he's officially engaged, I think he's not willing to probably do it until we, he actually signs the contract. Sure, sure. yeah. But okay. I expect that will be soon. I, I, it, yes, I would hope good. it could be by the next meeting, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, okay. Well, just want to also offer congratulations on getting this um, milestone and, and, and uh, formally in progress. So it's great. Yeah, it's been some time coming, <laughs> so. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So, okay, well. Yeah. That's a great group. <laughs> yeah, we've worked hard. Um, yeah. I think, you know, at this point, there's really not much left on the agenda for today. I don't want to get into much of anything else without um, Northampton. And in the meantime, in between this meeting and the next one, I'm going to work on trying to have a web page so we have somewhere where we live that's, you know, um, more easily accessible to the public and that I can send a link to the other communities that they can use for their uh, communities as well. Again, I will put together agendas, official agendas. They will go to everybody, but they'll go to Tom and Chris in, order, in time to post uh, for the next meeting. And what else? As far as our documents, um, we really <laughs> cannot work in Google Doc anymore. What, Darcy, sorry. I said, don't forget the press release. Oh yeah, no, I think the press release is in my notes. I'll work on that. Good. I'm just right now, I'm talking more about the sort of technical <laughs> setting us up. That I will do, but this like, that stuff really absolutely has to happen, I think, before our next meeting. Um, you know, because 
I don't know how well, you know, I know with, um, with Valley Bike, I didn't ever post the meeting agendas or anything in Amherst, but Dwayne always posted them. I'm sorry, Wayne always posted them in, um, in Northampton. So I'm assuming if we post them and it has all three towns listed, um, and I'll specifically maybe say on the agendas now, I'll list Northampton, Pelham, and Amherst. So we have a domain name, right? For Val so, Didn't we get both Valley Green Energy and Valley Green Alliance? So I have, I, I, you mean on the, on the web? We yeah. secured those web domains? Yes, um, we did. I have to double check with Bree because I'm not sure if a year has gone by because you have to renew them. And I think we automatically, I'm pretty sure I used my credit card to automatically re renew them. So I'll have to check with Brianna because she set it up. Um, so I'll check with her. Uh, but what I'm talking about setting up a page right now is just on the town's website. I'm not talking about doing like a whole, you know, I feel like when we get- I think I believe that Karen Ribeiro set up the domain names and she, she used her, her credit card. She did and they expired. And I renewed them through our communications manager. Great. Okay. We had to re-up them. And we Thank and you. when she and I spoke, we said that we would try to make sure that they just automatically renewed. So I but that's why I have to double check with her. Uh, but what I was about to say is that right now we're not. I think we need to wait until we engage Paul Gromer before we sort of set that all up. Right now, all I'm talking about right now is setting up a web page as a place to have meeting agendas, minutes, documents, just as a place to sort of get things started that's accessible to the public because that's my big concern right now. Um, and I have to do that if we're an official committee, I have to do that through the town's website. As far as when Paul Gromer comes on, there'll be probably something more that we'll do. They're gonna set up a Valley Green Energy page probably because that's what they do as part of securing them for this effort. Which will morph into Valley Green Alliance? No. I don't think so. I think it'll be separate. Because that will be just be it. that'll just be the CCA. So we'll the CCA need... will be Valley Green Energy, but the Valley Green Alliance will be the JPE presence. And that, and that doesn't and... exist yet, so I'm not worrying about that. And we will have to set up a website for that. Yes, but not right now. <laughs> so when it when we get a little closer, I mean, I think we've got enough to sort of, for me, I just want to make sure we are in, you know, meeting open meeting law and making sure we have our documents and information accessible to the public. Stephanie, would it be helpful if I sent you links to all the Google Docs that are sort of the foundation documents to, to put into, you know, PDFs and they'll change. Yeah, but, they'll be, yeah, I mean. At least they'd be available for the public. It won't be hard for me once we get something set up. So I just have to talk to Brianna. Once we get something up, I think it should be fairly straightforward to be able to add those links to those things. So um, okay. you can just send them to me. I know Darcy has a lot in her link now. Yeah, they're in, most everything is in the notes. Yeah, I think when I look at your link that, you send Darcy, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong thing. Um, well, I, I'm thinking that we could make a, a public, you know, directory for just the, the basic documents for anyone who wants to catch up on what we've been doing. Yeah, they don't need so all the notes just, from before. It, yeah, we just need the basic documents. Like, I don't think we need our meeting notes from every meeting. All we need is the, like you said, like the founders document, you know, um, I don't know. Our report, the, 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 the MOU. The report, yeah, the MOU, uh, the report, those kinds the, of things. The, the grant report there, we have them on the LEA website resource page if, if you want to find them. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot on there um, and yeah. So that would be good to have because that's sort of a basic, especially the, the report of this group in J January, what was it, 2020 or 2019? 
I can't remember. Dwayne, Dwayne was the lead on that. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely want to have that information as well. So yeah, so um, lots to sort of work on just to get us kind of set up. So I don't think Brianna is actually in today. So I'll send her an email. I know she's out. I don't know when she'll be back next week. So I'll send her an email and she'll she and I will connect hopefully before the next meeting, but we'll try to get as much of this together as we can. Uh, yeah. On the, on the next meeting, um, I think you said that, that Chris is out until the 13th. Can we... Yeah, actually, I think he's out. Um, let me just give me a second to see if I have his response so that I, because I think there was a date. Um, bear with me one second here. It doesn't seem like it makes any sense to schedule a meeting if you can't. Oh yeah, no, actually he's out until the 13th. So maybe we want to make that meeting. I know, so the, you know, as with everything, the challenge is people's availability. And I know Darcy, you have a hard time with Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. I mean, we could just meet next Friday and then do it two weeks from then. Um, it just seems like there's so much going on right now. Well, Chris, I don't want to meet again before Chris is back. Oh, oh. I want to wait until Chris is back. Yeah. And he's not back till the 13th. And I can't do Friday the 17th. And so do we have any way of finding out from him by email whether he... He's would... away. He's not going to respond. I think Chris, typically when he takes vacation, he does not check in. He checks out. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, he... he you know, he I doesn't think, have anybody who knows his schedule, right? Yeah, so he doesn't, yeah, he's like me. No one knows my schedule, <laughs> so. And who, who is Carolyn that was mentioned earlier? Carolyn is the assistant director. And oh, she's okay. going to be the acting planning and uh, director of planning and sustainability for Northampton while they we do the search. We're just with, with her. Well, Karen, I, yeah. Carolyn I, Mitch is her name. Yes, and Carolyn and I have, um, Carolyn was in contact with me because I reached out to her about this meeting and she said she was unavailable and she basically said send me documents but I don't know how much she's going to be attending because Chris is now officially representing Northampton in this effort so I don't know that Carolyn will be attending. Hmm. I think we should find a way to encourage her to um come at least a couple times <laughs> just we can ask, not I mean, have that position um working with us i don't know yeah. and uh, you know maybe adele is the northampton resident advocate maybe you want to reach out to carolyn i'll i'll think about that i can <laughs> ask her <laughs> i mean i can ask her but i you know I mean, again, Chris, Wayne was very clear that um, I think the mayor appointed Chris as the, as the liaison to this group. So I don't know that Carolyn, I mean, it didn't say Chris and Carolyn, <laughs> so. Right, it's unfortunate though, because she needs to be up to speed on what we're doing. Um, and maybe she is because she's been there, um, but we don't know that. Or we well, Chris, can ask Chris, is. Chris to um, keep her up to date. Yeah, that's true. I think uh -huh. that's the point is that Chris will like, you know, Chris will be the liaison and he would keep her up to date. I mean, I think <clears throat> Wayne himself was just really involved in all of this, you know, and it was an interest of his. I don't, you know, and if Car Carolyn is acting, but she may not be the next director. I mean, she may or may not be, I don't know. So we don't know who the next person is if they're going to have the same level of commitment to this initiative if Chris is already appointed. So, and it might be that kind of thing, as you said, where he may just be reporting back to them on where we are. 
I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I was just sort of thinking that if Chris couldn't come on the 13th, then maybe she could cover for him for that one day. But I don't know if she doesn't know what we've been doing that might not. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I don't know how much that will be helpful, but let's, <laughs> um, we could say, do we want to maybe say instead of the 13th, do we want to say June 15th? Is that okay? It's a Wednesday at 10 a.m.? I should check my, before I commit myself, I should look. Uh, I, I have a conflict uh, with that. Um, I, I can probably change an appointment that I have at 1030. Or we could do 9 a.m. Yeah. Um, uh, well, at 9 a.m. I have a standing yeah, me commitment. Too. That's the same, same meeting. meeting. Mm -hmm. What about one o'clock? What about what? One o'clock on the 15th? Okay. Stephanie, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm starting a new job. Actually, I started it on Wednesday, and, uh, and uh, I'm gonna be out in California. I can do, you know, six or seven a.m. California time, but by one o'clock here, ten o'clock there, I'll be out in California that day, so I'll, I, I won't be available uh, after that. Um, okay, and I'm sorry. Who had a conflict with nine a.m.? Andrew and I. Um, what about what? Why don't we just say Friday the sub? Oh, I can't do this. Right. Okay. I think we have to say the fifteenth um, at ten, and if Chris can't make it, it, it we got to schedule it so that he can be there, or it'll be another meeting like this. What I'm going to do right now is tentatively say Wednesday the fifteenth at 10 a.m. And I, you know, I'll send an, you know, email to Chris specifically asking him if he can make that date and time. And if he can't, I mean, you know, we might have to do a, at least that week, Darcy, we might have to do a Tuesday or Thursday. Oh. Or Andra and Adele, we might have to do Wednesday the 15th at maybe a different time. <laughs> I'm just worried about, you know, Tom, to accommodate Tom, I feel like we need to make sure we do it at an hour that works for him. So it would be either nine or 10. And that'll be true that whole week, right, Tom? Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm home on Friday, but that doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about Friday. Um, yeah, we could maybe do nine to 10 on Friday. I've just got, we're, yeah, I'm, ta I'm taking the afternoon off. Actually, I was going to take the whole day off. So, but I could maybe do nine to 10. Does that work for everybody? If I did nine to 10 on the, on Friday, the 17th? Yeah. Works for me. But yes. Could we um, give Chris two options and pencil yes. in both, both those options for us and All right, so I'm putting Find down Monday. Yeah. Okay, so I'm saying push. either Wednesday the 15th at 10 or Friday the 17th at 9. I'll give him those two options and see if he can do either one. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Um, all right, well, I, I will let you know. Um, yeah, the meeting has to be posted. So if it's Friday the 15th at 10, we'd have to post on Monday before 10. <laughs> so. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We'd have to post on Monday before 10. So it would be very tight. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to bring up one other thing, which is that um, we, the, the um, Andra, Adele, and Sam and I had, had volunteered to try to start looking for members that could potentially, we could potentially recommend to be on the community advisory board committee. Um, we haven't really started doing that yet. So I just wanna, wanted to remind us that that is something that once we get the, the Valley Green Alliance up and running, we'll wanna have that right away. So um, 
we're still eight. working on it. My point is that we still know that we're in you know, trying to put together a, a list of recommendations. The hard part is that, you know, like every organization that I'm a member of, which is quite a few, um, we're all doing the same thing. We're all right. looking for um, diverse membership. Um, you know, I was at a League of Women Voters meeting last night. Big section of the meeting devoted to let's diversify our membership, you know. And uh, it's, so it's a challenge, but, but we are working on it. All right, Andrew, you look like you were no, about to say no, something. No, 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 I, I have to go to another meeting now. Okay, yeah, I do too. I, so. I still, I have not forgotten my commitment to get the list of uh, community solar providers. So uh, it's been a wild six months as I've been leaving one job and going to the next. So, but I, I'll have that. No worries. All right, I will let everybody know. I'll send an invitation out when we confirm the next meeting. Take and care. if I don't hear from Chris by Friday the tenth or whatever, I may have to just make a decision. Yeah. So, okay, everybody, thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Bye.